CataractCoach.com. Late dislocation of an iris clip ACI well. How will you refixate this eye well, or should you do an eye well exchange? Now you can see there's the eye well. The surgeon sitting superiorly, so it looks like this eye well, which is an iris clip type design, has fallen off on one end. So here the surgeon's going to make a pair and he just grabbed that dislocated haptic and let's inspect it. Is it still intact? There you go. It looks pretty reasonable. So this is an iris clip design. Not familiar with this lens model. If you know what it is, please leave a comment below and let us know. And so this is meant for a treatment of aphakia and it's iris clip here. And let's take a look at what's going on. Now, if the patient still has a normal corneal endothelial cell count, there's probably no harm in leaving that AC lens in position. It's there, it works, but can you refixate it? So it looks like it has those types of claws where you need to open up the claw, grab a good amount of iris tissue to put inside of it, and then release the claw. And so there's some type of instruments used, such as the Budo forceps to hold an optic. Those were designed for the Vorst lens. And then also the enclavation instrument. But here, let's see what the surgeon's doing here. You need to get a good knuckle of iris, a good bit of iris stroma, and put it into those clipped arms. So what instrument would you use here? And that's kind of the challenge, to figure out do you have an appropriate instrument in your tray that's going to help. Now, if you want to learn more about these kind of things, you can go to our teaching website, cataractcoach.com. I promise you'll find so much more great material, much better than just simply YouTube. YouTube's great. I like it too. But if you really want to get the insight, check out the website. All right, back to our case here. A little more viscoelastic there. I like the position of the lens now. We just got to get that iris uh, captured in that claw on the right side of the screen there. Now, this is a neat instrument. The surgeon said he found this in a box of instruments that his mentor gave him. It's called a spreader. And this is where your staff comes in. You have your circulating nurse, your scrub tech, and your scrub tech who's been with you and your mentor says, you know what? The other surgeon had a special instrument called a spreader. I bet that would work here. And here's the device. You can look at it, and it's basically... Two little hooks that when you put inside there, you'll be able to open up that claw of that right-sided haptic. So again, getting it in the pair is a little bit tough because these claws can get stuck in the uh, corneal stroma. And now advancing that a little bit, get that going. There it is. And so you may want to also next time just enlarge that para. But putting this in here and look at that, this neat spreader device, which I don't know the exact name of. Do you know what the instrument is? Please comment below. Let's learn together. So putting it inside there, and then look at that. You can push apart. So I'd use my left hand, push this apart, and with the right hand, get some iris tissue and put it inside that claw. Or you can just do it like this one-handed. That's pretty neat. So a neat instrument. Again, good thing you had it on your tray. It made life much easier here. If you didn't have this, I'd just stabilize the optic with, through the left hand. Maybe just put a spatula on top of the um, optic. And then I'd use the enclavation tool just to grab a good knuckle of iris and bring it up through that. But I do like the spreader technique. Neat instrument. I don't think I have one of these on my surgical trays. I'll have to look into it. But then again, we don't have these kind of aphakic iris clip IOLs available in the USA either. But you can hear, see here, zooming in, able to get a good solid in a bit of iris stroma there trapped in that clip. And now that should be pretty darn stable. So neat technique here. Always fun to see new instruments, new toys. And the end of the case here, obviously, just remove viscoelastic, seal up the incisions, and call it a day. And there you see on the bottom part of the screen there, the patient has a small peripheral iridotomy, which is important with these types of ACIOLs that are blocking uh, flow of aqueous through the pupil. So we'll seal up the incisions here, take out the viscoelastic, beautiful case. Again, leave me a comment below. What is this IOL design? What's its name? What's its brand? And what about that instrument, the spreader instrument? What exactly was that thing? I want to learn. All right, leave me a comment below. And remember, check out our teaching website, cataractcoach.com. We've got a new podcast every single week.